guys welcome back okay so today's video is super fun why because it's a collab video okay who doesn't like a collab video and i'm collabing with one of my new youtube friends okay absolutely beautiful her name is kara and her channel name is beauty in the frizz super cute okay if you aren't already subscribed to her channel you are missing out because she does all kinds of content, okay? First of all, she's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, has that natural beauty going on. As soon as you see her, you'll know exactly why her channel is called Beauty in the Frizz. She has this beautiful natural hairdo, okay, that I just love to death. And it totally fits just her down-to-earth, bubbly, just makeup-loving personality, okay? Once you watch her channel, you'll be hooked. She's just the sweetest person and <laughs> super funny, okay? Her sarcastic sense of humor is just, I get it. I get it all the time. I understand, okay? So yeah, if you like my channel, if you like my content, you're going to love her channel as well. Like I said, her channel name is Beauty in the Frizz. If you don't already know about her, make sure you definitely check her out, okay? I mean, she does collab videos, of course. She does tutorials. She does hauls. She does dupe videos. She does a lot of different kind of interesting topics and things like that, you know, ways to save money um, and not buy certain palettes by duping them, which you guys know I love those kind of videos. But she's just really really sweet and I love her channel I love her personality and you definitely need to check her out so this collab today was actually her idea and I think it was an absolutely wonderful idea for a collab now when she presented it to me she was like you know what why don't we create our own Grinch palette and of course that was right around the time that Kylie's Grinch palette came out so I was thinking to myself do you want to so you want to do a dupe video you know trying to dupe that palette she was like no let's just create our own and I was like okay I'm with it yeah let's do it so yeah that is what this collab video is basically we are creating our own Grinch palette from you know the vibes and feels that we get when we think about the Grinch now for me it's a movie a childhood movie and an adult movie actually because I love the one with Jim Carrey in it hilarious <laughs> And I love the Grinch, actually. So, yeah, for me, it's a childhood movie, an adult movie that I love. So, immediately, I was like, oh, man, I already had these colors popping off in my head for this palette. So, yeah, let me just go ahead and show you my version of the Grinch palette, okay? So, this is my Grinch palette. And... Of course, I'll have to explain my thought process when coming up with this color story, the shadows I picked and whatnot. So in an effort not to make this video too long, let's just jump right in. So just right off top, my thinking was, okay, what colors do I absolutely have to have in my Grinch palette? Just right off top before I start putting the filler shades in, you know, green, of course, no brainer. It's a Grinch palette has to have green and I kind of want part of the overall feel to be green right so I actually put in one two three four five about five shadows that have green in them or you know kind of green based so obviously the middle row green shadows um this one up here is actually a multi-chrome or duochrome so it shifts so sometimes it looks blue sometimes it looks green but absolutely love it so i threw that in now you see that i have a pop of blue in here the blue for me represents like when i think about the grinch i think of the whole town of whoville and you know when you see you watch the movie and everything you see the snow you see the beautiful blue sky Everyone in Whoville is just all excited about Christmas, okay? And so I said, I have to have a beautiful pop of blue in there. So that's why I added that blue. I added this light blue shimmer here because that was another aspect of blue that you can use in creating looks. And it also kind of gave me that feel of, you know, 
in Whoville, you see all of the beautiful Christmas decorations, the ornaments, the presents, all of that stuff. So I said, I need a little bit of glitz and glamour in my palette, okay? Now this shade here, it looks like it's a white shimmer, but it's actually a shimmer that kind of shifts as well. It has a little bit of a goldy green shift to it, beautiful. Now down here, you see the reds. Of course, it's a Christmas story, a Christmas theme, so I had to have the red. You know, it kind of made me think of his little Santa suit when he went down to Whoville to steal all the toys and the Christmas trees and everything. So had to have the red. This little pop of brown down here, I put that in because, of course, you know, when doing a palette, I'm also thinking practicality. I need a transition shade. So I have the brown shade in there for me, but it also represents his dog, Max. Okay. I love Max. Max is just the cutest little sweetest dog. And he's just forever looking at the Grinch like, what are you up to now? Okay. Like I'm not here for the shenanigans. <laughs> okay. So I really, really love his dog, Max. That's why I have that brown in there. I also put this black in here because it's nice to have a black in a palette so you can kind of deepen up your look. But for me, this black has a few different, you know, meanings in my palette because I'm thinking, hey, it's a Grinch palette. Most likely, the Grinch ain't gonna put nothing in your stocking except for a lump of coal, okay? Because he's the Grinch. <laughs> you know, he has like a black hole in his heart where love should be. So, you know, yeah, I mean, I'm giving the Grinch kind of a bad rap because, you know, in the end, he really did come around. But <laughs> the basis of the Grinch yeah he's got a black heart okay so i have that black that black has a little bit of sparkle in it though because you know it's still a christmas story so let's go ahead and add a little sparkle to the black so that's just the basic theory behind the colors that i picked for my grinch palette so what i want to do is i will go ahead let me give you a close-up look so this is what it looks close up. You can see the glitz and sparkle a little bit better. You can see the color story. You can kind of see, um, you know, just my basic kind of vibe with this palette, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and swatch each shadow, tell you the brand, tell you the shade. And so you can see my color story come together through the swatches. I got on my Christmas velour and everything right now, y'all. <laughs> And I think I'm going to put like a little picture of the palette up so you guys can see what I'm swatching while I'm swatching and talking about it. So this first shade is from Terra Moon. It's called Snow Globe. So this is a beautiful kind of white and gold shimmer that you can use for an inner corner pop. Definitely gives me a feel of the holiday, Christmas, you know, something like that. You know, a little razzle dazzle in my palette. This next shade is Terra Moon Half Moon, and this is the beautiful shimmer that has kind of like, you know, that beautiful light blue hue to it. So that is what that shade looks like. The next shade I chose is Fine China from ColourPop, which is this gorgeous, bold blue shade. I love, love, love that color. Next is a beautiful blue and green shifting shimmer from Davina. And this one is Exosphere. <laughs> and when I picked this shadow, of course, it was because of, you know, the green in it. But because it is a duochrome that, you know, you guys probably can't see right now, I felt like it would go really, really gorgeous with that blue as well in the palette. Very, very pretty. This next shade is also from Davina. It's called Celesta. Another beautiful, gorgeous, shifting duochrome shade. But the reason why I chose that is because it does have a green hue to it, but it also pulls gold. So I felt like that was definitely a beautiful shade to have in a holiday palette for the Grinch, even though, you know, he's real Grinchy. I still want to have that feeling of Christmas in my palette. Next, we're going to get into some of these matte greens. This first one is from Colored Rain. And this one is out of their Juicy Boost. Is that what it's called? <laughs> I don't remember. 
their latest palette. I think it's called the Juicy Boost or something. And this one is Mint Leaves. I'm just using my camera as my mirror here. So hopefully my swatches won't get too crazy. So that is the shade Mint Leaves very pretty green and that's the main green that i wanted in my palette to represent the grinch <laughs> next i have a green shade from coastal scents and this one is called prehistoric green and i kind of went back and forth with this shade because i was like mm, coastal scents you know the quality is not the best but I just couldn't leave this shade alone. It was so gorgeous. So yeah, I kept that one in. Very, very pretty. Another Grinchy Green shade, okay? This next matte green shade is from Colored Rain and it's called Jungle. So this is the darkest green in the palette. And I really wanted to have, you know, a darker green so that, you know, I would have more variation in eye looks. I could mix this with the blue. I could do an all green look, you know, just kind of give a little bit of variation for the palette. So I went ahead and added that green in there as well. So the next shade that I have is my transition shade. It's actually another shade from the Colored Rain Juicy Boost palette. And this one is called Sweet Potato Mango. And I felt like this would be a really good shade, you know, for my transition and just to kind of help blend other shades out in this bold palette. So that is that shade, Sweet Potato Mango. Next, I have Sydney Grace, Queen of Hearts. I definitely have to have red in my palette and I didn't want to just have a matte red. I wanted to have a shimmer red as well, just to give me a little bit more variety. So I went with this one here, Queen of Hearts from Sydney Grace. Now for my matte red, I found that in that Colored Rain Juicy Boost palette, the Apple Strawberry shade is an absolutely gorgeous matte red. <laughs> so that is the matte red that I chose. See if I can get a decent swatch of this matte red. So that is that shade there. And last but not least, I have my glittery black shade, which is actually from one of my pure palettes that I depotted back in the day. Um, I have a lot of single shadows from palettes that I depotted that I wanted to keep. <laughs> so this is from that palette and it is a black that has, you know, the shimmery, shimmery glitter in it. So that is my black shade. So this is my whole Grinch color story palette. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> I really do. It really, really makes me feel like... Um, you know, the story of the Grinch and everything, every color that I see and I think about when I think about the Grinch. So I really like my color story. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Now, I am really, really excited to see what Kara comes up with for her color story for the Grinch because I have no idea what she's going to come up with because I know she likes color and things like that. She's a little bit more into like the high end makeup and stuff like that than I am. So, you know, she doesn't get as aggressive <laughs> with her boldness and color and stuff as I do. So I'm very curious to see what her palette is going to look like. Dying to know. So I can't wait to watch her video. But this is mine. So obviously you can see I created this eye look using my Grinch palette. <laughs> So if you'd like to see how I created this look, then stay tuned because it's coming up next.
that's it you guys that's how i created this grinchy look today using my palette i know it's a little bit different you think about green when thinking about the grinch but i think about the whole story okay so definitely check out my girl kara beauty in the frizz i will link her channel her videos up above down below make sure you definitely check out her video tell her that you came you know from my channel and you wanted to check her out say hi watch some of her videos right now she's doing frismas is it frismas happy frismas you know everyone's doing vlogmas and stuff but i think hers is frismas so make sure you check out her videos because they're a lot of fun so thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video Toodles.